We present a method to replicate outdoor rock climbing routes in an indoor gym. The central challenge is to capture and replicate a prohibitively large environment, such as a rock face, using compact elements that are fabricable with current technology. Our pipeline starts with a 3D reconstruction of the crux region using multi-view stereo. We use a reference video to determine the key rock features used by the climber during his ascent. This is done by estimating 3D skeletal poses of the climber, which inform us about the locations of his hands and feet, along with approximate contact force directions. From this information, we identify the contact regions, that is, the regions the climber uses to support his body during the climbing sequence. We turn the contact regions and some amount of surrounding geometry into a set of 3D models. These models resemble traditional indoor climbing holds, but replicate the detailed geometry of the original rock face. We fabricate two sets of the resulting holds for texture comparison. The first set is 3D printed. The second set, which ultimately provided improved friction properties, is carved from a high-density foam using a CNC router. To create robust, climbable holds with texture mimicking the real rock, we use a casting process on each of the two sets. This process starts by creating a negative mold made from flexible silicone. When finished, the mold is filled with low viscosity casting resin, which cures very quickly. The resulting hold is ready to be mounted on an indoor climbing wall. To determine where to place our replica in an indoor gym, we first reconstruct the locations of the T-nuts, which are the attachment points on the gym wall. We then run an optimization process to find a configuration which most closely matches the original geometry of our climbing problem. Here we see our final indoor replica of the Tatan route from Rumney, New Hampshire. In this example, we ran our pipeline on the outdoor ascent of a single climber. We based our route acquisition on his poses. We compare video recordings of this same climber ascending both the original route and its indoor replica. The body poses are almost identical between the outdoor and indoor sequences. We also tested the generality of our route with a climber of different body proportions. He climbs the indoor and outdoor routes successfully. However, we note that his sequence and poses are mismatched at times. Running our pipeline with combined data from several climbers could produce a more general result. We also built a replica of the pilgrimage route from St. George, Utah, which is more than 2,000 miles away from our indoor gym. As the original climber wasn't available, we compare to a climb by a volunteer.
thank you for your attention.